Will electric motorcycles ever replace petrol? Let's be honest, electric bikes are fast, quiet, and kind of cool. But can they ever really replace petrol? Today, we're cutting through the marketing hype and to see whether electric motorcycles like Honda's WN7 are the future or whether they're just a fancy side quest. I'm Safi Sprocket and welcome back to the channel. And we've just seen Honda drop the WN7, a proper electric naked with 600cc performance and fast charging. But every time an EV bike launches, riders ask the same question. Would I actually buy one? Well, let's dig into that. Range, soul, and sound, and all the messy bits in between. First, the positives. Electric bikes are stupidly quick, with instant torque, no gears, and linear power that makes city riding feel effortless. Maintenance? Practically none. There's no oil, no valves, no chain mess. And it's belt-driven. They're also quiet, which some people love. You can sneak out for a morning ride without waking up the entire neighborhood. Plus, charging is improving fast. Bikes like the Honda WN7 go from 20 to 80% in about half an hour using a public CCS2 charger. That's a lunch stop, not an overnight wait. But here is the catch. Range anxiety is still very real. Even the best mid-size electric bikes hover around the 130 to 150 kilometers on a charge. Now, that's fine for daily rides, but it can be really tricky for multi-day road trips. Then there's the charging infrastructure. Not every town has a fast charger. And when you do find one, there might be a car already plugged in and a lengthy wait. And whilst running costs are lower, upfront prices are still much higher often much more than your average 600cc petrol equivalent. And let's be honest, part of the magic of riding is the sound and feel. The vibration, the engine noise, the gear shifts, they're all part of the experience. Electric bikes are a lot of fun, but they don't stir the soul in quite the same way, or at least not yet. Now, the truth is we're probably heading for a hybrid era, where electric bikes cover city and commuter use, and petrol is still ruling the open road outside of that. Honda, Yamaha, and Kawasaki all seem to agree that they're investing in hydrogen synthetic fuels and the modular EV platforms side by side. It's not EV versus petrol, it's EV and petrol. At least it will be for the next 10 to 15 years. So will electric motorcycles ever replace the petrol completely? Well, it's certainly not going to happen tomorrow, not even this decade. But that gap is constantly closing fast. And bikes like the WN7 prove that electric can be fun. The future probably won't sound like screaming in line fours, but it might just feel just as good. My name's Safi Sprocket, and I'd love to know what's holding you back from going electric. Is it the range, the price, or maybe even just the sound? Drop a comment below, hit like, and subscribe, because the electric revolution is coming, whether we are ready or not. Until next time, my name's Safi Sprocket, signing off. my fault.